everybody. Today, Sis and I are going to a baking class, so stay tuned. we had to have for the class like the tips and so forth and it was like a blizzard but um, we're sticking to the interstate so that should be fine and I will take some pictures of the class and some of our decorating so we'll take you along hey everybody so it is the next day and sis and I had a fantastic time at the class. We did bring home all our notes and today we are going to make some cakes. I'm working on a cake I had made before the class and I'm going to attempt the exact same cake with the skills that I learned at the class. Sis is going to work on some cupcakes and hers have a horse uh, theme to them because she does a lot of uh, races. She works in Saratoga at the race track there. She's a photographer. Uh, several other tracks she works, I believe it's called a bookie. But I'm going to get started on mine and get it in the oven so we can start icing soon. See you in a bit. In order to start the cakes I bought two 8 inch round pans because in a camper propane oven two 9 inch don't fit so you have to do them one at a time. But these two fit in at the same time, so I'm going with 8 inch. I bought Wilton pans, um, very, very sturdy. And I've also moved my rack up in the oven to the second shelf because then it won't be so close to the bottom. And I have had some burning, which I've had to cut off. So I'm, I'm going to test that out. I have parchment paper. I put this in here, ran my finger around to get the approximate size, the, which is what we were told. Um, she said use wax paper, but I couldn't find any. But apparently wax paper is cheaper. Now, uh, instead of putting butter in here and flour, uh, like I've been doing, she said just get some spray that's made with flour. So this is uh, original non-stick baking spray with flour. There are several brands of this. So all I did was spray the pan and put the parchment paper in. This one's been sprayed and I'm just going to set the parchment in there. So now I'm going to make my cake mix. The oven is preheating. Because these box cake mixes are fantastic, doesn't matter whether it's Pillsbury, Duncan Hines, uh, Betty Crocker, 
dollar store brand. They're all really good. And this is what they use in the grocery stores up here. So, and the, you know, private bakeries. So, this is what we're using too. And I am going to mix this now for two minutes. So I'll put this in fast forward. All done. Now, we were told in the class last night that if the box says to mix it for two minutes, mix it for two minutes. Don't go over. Don't go under. Um, they're all different, and you need to follow the directions on each box. Uh, what happens if you overbeat it is you beat out all the air, and then your cake will be flat. So, this one said two minutes. I was watching my watch, and that is exactly how much I mixed it. So now we're going to get these into the pans. Alright, so this box of mix states that for two 8-inch pans, it takes 34 to 38 minutes. So because it's a propane oven, you want to uh, switch them halfway. So it's 34 minutes, so after 15, I'm going to switch positions so that they can then cook in a different area of the oven, and hopefully by the time we're done, equally baked. So I'll be back. cake you saw that I'd like to show you a picture of the cake I made prior to the icing class here it is and then this is my cake after the icing class so as you can see big difference And that was just my first one, so I'm hoping to get better and better. I did learn that by moving the rack up in the oven helps from burning the bottom of the cakes without having to use an extra tin underneath them, which was nice. I do have a pizza stone in there. Uh, and if I come up with any other tips for baking in the RV and the propane, I will let you know. I thank you for joining us today. You guys have a great day, and we'll be back soon with more videos. Bye-bye.